fair in the state. Here are the facts first. A report released by state controller Tom DiNapoli today shows overtime costs are up $65 million this year compared to last. So far, the state has paid $462 million in OT and is on track to reach $600 million by year's end. Senator Faluki has been digging through the report to see how these numbers are getting as high as they are because you paid for it, Jen. Well, Jerry, not all state agencies are to blame for the inflating overtime costs. Some of them have been reining it in, but there are actually four agencies that account for 70% of the overtime spending, and they are shelling out big bucks when it comes to paying employees to stay late. The reliance on overtime is a habit that's costing state taxpayers millions. In fact, it's gone up so much this year, the state controller is going to start keeping tabs on it more often. What we're going to try to do actually is do a more periodic updating of the overtime figures because, again, it's a cost that is a premium cost, one that can be avoided with better management strategies. Most of the time, state workers who work overtime get time and a half, and that adds up quick and not just on the front end. Overtime uh, gets calculated into the pension calculation, so there's a long-term cost as well. The agencies that tend to account for the lion's share of overtime are um, the, the institutional agencies, corrections, uh, Office of Mental Health, Office of People with Developmental Disabilities, Department of Transportation also has a significant amount of overtime. Also one of the top overtime spenders, the Department of Taxation and Finance. Its overtime this year was up 437 percent compared to last. That's likely related to the issue CBS 6 uncovered earlier this year, dealing with the processing delays for tax returns. It is possible some of that cash will be recouped from the vendor who couldn't deliver, but not all of it. Other big overtime spenders, the Department of Transportation has shelled out $36 million in overtime so far, which is a 63 percent increase compared to last year. The Department of Corrections is up 20 percent. The Office of People with Developmental Disabilities is up 10, and the Office of Mental Health is up 8 percent. Now, this report came out around noon today, and since then I've called the governor's office a number of times. About an hour ago, I was told by a spokesperson I would have a comment before 5 o'clock. I have yet to get that. I also tried all the individual agencies listed in that report. None of them have gotten back to me either with an explanation or a comment about this. Now, some of the big labor unions tell me they aren't surprised by these overtime numbers. They claim most of their members are mandated to take it and are in some cases working 16 hours a day. A spokesman for CSEA says the administration is relying on overtime instead of filling positions to try and save. But in the end, either way, Larry, uh, Liz and Jerry, it comes down to the taxpayers. Live in studio tonight, Jennifer Lukey, CBS 6 News.